Hey there, I hope you're all doing fantastic and hopefully this video gives you the valuable insights you're looking for. Let's dive right in. Although it may appear to be a minor component, some individuals mistakenly believe that their vehicle can function adequately without it. While it is indeed possible for the vehicle to operate without a CV valve, we strongly advise against it. The absence of a CV valve in an engine will rapidly diminish its performance and efficiency. Moreover, that is merely a glimpse of the potential problems as there are even more perilous symptoms associated with a faulty PZV valve. The piston rings aim to prevent gases from entering the crankcase. Although they mostly succeed, a small amount of waste gases can still get through, often containing unburned fuel. This can cause various issues we'll go into later. To address this, the positive crankcase ventilation, CV, valve utilizes the engine's vacuum to capture and recirculate these gases. It acts as a ventilation system, redirecting them through a hose into the intake manifold. This allows the engine to burn the unburned fuel from previous strokes, improving overall efficiency by maximizing fuel utilization for power instead of wasteful expulsion. There are two types of CV, positive crankcase ventilation, systems, open and closed. The open system, found in older vehicles, uses a vented oil filler cap to draw fresh air from the environment. However, this system is not suitable for handling larger amounts of gases. In cases of excessive gases in the crankcase, it would force them out through the cap and into the atmosphere. Due to environmental regulations, this method is no longer permissible. On the other hand, closed systems operate differently. They draw air through the filter housing and route the crankcase gases back to the intake manifold. With closed systems, gases are prevented from escaping into the atmosphere. Consequently, these systems effectively limit air pollution, which is why they are widely used in modern vehicles. As for the CV valve itself, its operation is quite simple. Its primary function is to control the flow of vapors from the crankcase to the intake manifold. During lower engine speeds, when there are fewer gases in the crankcase, the CV valve remains closed. However, at higher engine speeds, the valve opens to rapidly lower the pressure within the crankcase. To accomplish all of this, the CV valve relies on the vacuum generated by the intake manifold. When the vacuum is high, at lower engine revolutions, the valve opens only slightly. Conversely, when the vacuum is low, such as when the gas pedal is suddenly pressed, the valve opens wider. Symptoms of a clogged CV valve First Symptom when the CV valve becomes clogged, it can lead to the formation of sludge within the crankcase. This sludge buildup can have severe consequences for the engine over time. Second symptom. If the CV valve clogs, it can cause an increase in pressure inside the engine. This elevated pressure has the potential to inflict damage on crucial engine components, including piston rings, pistons, the engine head, and the crankshaft. Third symptom. When the pressure inside the engine rises due to a clogged CV valve, it can lead to the failure of oil seals and gaskets. This, in turn, results in oil leaks occurring in various areas. Additionally, the increased pressure can contribute to higher oil consumption. Symptoms of a stuck open CV valve First symptom. In cases where the CV valve is stuck open, you may notice the emergence of black smoke from the exhaust pipes. Additionally, oil might start to appear in the CV valve or hose, indicating a malfunctioning CV valve. Second symptom, if the CV valve remains stuck open, it can lead to issues with engine performance during idle. The engine may not work properly, and misfiring might occur as a result. Furthermore, you may encounter difficulties starting the engine when facing a stuck open CV valve. Third symptom, in the event that the CV valve is stuck open, it can cause a lean air. Fuel mixture in the engine in phone 171 and phone 174 fault codes. This means that there's an insufficient amount of fuel in relation to the amount of air, which can adversely affect engine performance and efficiency. General symptom. You may experience reduced power, decreased acceleration, and a general decline in the engine's efficiency. Additionally, it can lead to an increase in fuel consumption as the engine struggles to operate optimally. Testing the positive crankcase ventilation. CV valve is often a straightforward process. Most valves consist of a small metal ball inside a housing. To test it, you can simply remove the valve and give it a shake. If the valve is clogged, you'll likely hear the ball moving inside. On the other hand, if the valve is functioning properly, you should hear a subtle click-click sound as you shake it. 
However, some car models utilize a vacuum-operated diaphragm for the CV valve. In such cases, you'll need a vacuum pump to conduct the test. Connect the vacuum pump to the control side of the valve and apply vacuum pressure. If the valve is working correctly, it should open when the vacuum is applied and close when the vacuum is released. This test helps verify the proper functioning of the CV valve. Another test you can do is putting a latex glove over the oil filler hole. Then, start the engine and if the glove inflates, the CV is bad. But if the glove gets deflated, the CV is good. Just make sure you secure the glove so it doesn't get sucked into the engine. As is often the case with car repairs, the cost of labor for replacing a CV valve tends to exceed the price of the part itself. Typically, CV valves range in cost from $15 to $30, depending on the make and model of your vehicle. However, if you opt to have a professional service handle the replacement, the labor charges alone can amount to approximately $70 to $100. The good news is that replacing the CV valve is a relatively simple and inexpensive task. This affordability and ease of replacement should encourage you to inspect and replace the CV valve promptly, helping to extend the lifespan of your engine. If you genuinely care about your vehicle, consider replacing the CV valve every second or third oil change. By doing so, you can prevent potential issues caused by a faulty CV valve and ensure smooth engine performance.